You were never no locomotive, Sunflower. You were a Sunflower. And you, locomotive, you are a locomotive. Forget me not. So I grabbed up the skeleton thick sunflower and stuck it at my side like a scepter and delivered my sermon to my soul and Jack's soul too and anyone who'll listen. We're not our skin of bride. We're not our dread, bleak, dusty, imageless locomotive. We're all beautiful golden sunflowers inside. The Mastodon at the Carnegie Natural History Museum. You ate lots of vegetation. You were very large. I love to think of you making love, perhaps because I'm drawn to big women. I imagine the dark planets of your eyeballs. Buddha's empty mind kept him thin, bands of ribs always more and more visible, like a house being unbuilt, stripped of its shingles and plywood and sheetrock, till only the studs stand, and you can see the trees bend in the wind through the crate. circus act called spring. Death has pulled a technicolor wig back over its skull, glued a bright red nose over its bony hole, flinging its black hooded robe to the wind, and ditching its sickle. It throws on its goofy shoes and precariously pedals its unicycle around the landscape while juggling the bulbs of flowers like bowling pins. A belly full of anarchy. I love his stuff. Thoughts while looking at leftovers. I gaze at the turkey platter after the celebration, and I am jealous of the remains, the glazed flesh now a dull flat, the ribs visible, hollow and lukewarm, humped with green garnishing wilted. Oh, how I long for the fake feast of history to be over, just to be the leftovers, empty and free. <laughs>